I can always change the model of the surface if I have problem locating the photovoltaic modules. So maybe if the surface is not correctly aligned. So if I have problem in the location of the modules on the roof, I can always change the, the base. So I can go in the editor and take a look to the surface and module what I want. So I can change the points and correctly locate them. Translating the area in the photovoltaic field, I can move node in the best point. So now I'm moving the point in the correct location. Or I can right click and delete one node. So in this vertical line I can obtain just two nodes and I'm going to delete this other point. So now, as you see, I can move and translate the surface. Done this operation, I can define the area, this rectangle, and I can edit uh, the area using all software potential. So delete node, or I can use offset command. So we set the distance uh, to the edge uh, to 0.2 centimeters. In this way, we define a smaller surface to use. Confirm all. So now we obtain the correct location. So we can now select the photovoltaic field and design the plant. So now let's design the plant. We decide to use a parallel position to the roof. We select the maximum power criteria. So what I'm saying, I want to cover uh, my surface with all modules I can. So let's image uh, to use a monocrystalline implant. Let's image 250 Watt. I'm choosing monocrystalline type but just to give different information from previous project, because I can model with every modules I want. And I can model all kinds of uh, photovoltaic plant. Now we see 52 modules, that's because we are choosing 13 kilowatt of peak power. Why? Because we are modeling all area, we are modeling with maximum criteria, power criteria. So 52 modules of 250 watts for 13 kilowatts of total power. If we select modules with more power, for example 400 watt total, we can see that the numbers of modules uh, is decreasing. I can see details of the modules. So they have different properties from the previous module of 250 Watt. So click Confirm. I have now the correct position. So now I'm going to design the photovoltaic plant. Where we have to put the inverter. In this case, I decide to locate um, to the left side. So to the back side of the building. So now I'm going to design the plant using the photovoltaic generator. I locate the inverter here where I decided but directly in the 3D view. I can locate everywhere. I can locate uh, on the ground, on the facade, on the side. 
This is a 3D visualization. So when I put uh, the 3D object, the 3D element, I couldn't see it because the element could be rotated. So I can just put in a general point the 3D object, select it, and then I can see it in the view plant. So here we have the plan view of the object. I can rotate the object. I can correctly locate uh, the, the inverter using the snap. I'm now going to put the inverter to the wall that I previously decided. Then I can see it on the 3D view. I can decide the height of the element, 3 meters or maybe 4 meters. So I can always change the position as I want. This inverter, this parametric object, if it's gray, uh, if it's a gray object, it means there is a generic object. So it's not decided for the specific plant. It's just a generic object. So what I have to do, select the object. We need now to define it. So now click on uh, Design uh, Generators. So software is asking the correct field to choose and uh, design. So we see the uh, photovoltaic field number 7 because Solarius has generated more fields or he used a different name. But I can always go back, click on the pivot plant select it and change the description so we can change in photovoltaic field one now in the design generators i see pv1 in this step software doesn't show all the inverters object as it did for the modules but it just shows uh, inverter compatible with the plant all these inverters all these models are compatible with the plant we are designing. Why? Because they respect all electrical verification as shown in the window. All electrical verification and combination are respected with this specific inverter. Configuration shows me two inverters now. Selecting the inverter and I liking the connection, I see the connected strings of modules. Solarius uh, highlights and then connected modules, as you see. And I also see the numeric configuration. For example, here we have the inverter number two. It's connected to the MPPT1 of the string number one and to the first one module. So done this operation, I can go on. Or I can also think to differently design the plant. But I don't want to have two inverters. I want to design a plant with just one inverter, always compatible to the plant. So I select one of the inverter, I delete the project going to the upper toolbar. So I select the inverter and I go to design with the generators wizard. We always select the photovoltaic field one, I select the filter number of inverter, I want just one of compatible inverter, so equals one. And now I can choose the compatible one. So this inverter will be connected to all modules as you see in the window. So if I push there, I will have the lighting of all fields. So all modules connected to the inverter. Let's see now how to go on. 
and had the general switch panel in alternate or continuous electrical energy. Let's locate the general panel. Same steps as the inverter design. So locate the panel. We can rotate directly in the 3D view. When we are near the facade, the elevation, software see the element and become like a grid. You can see in the window. So we can select also the same height of the inverter. So in this case, it was 3.9 meter. But be careful to the delta value because the position of all element is linked to the 3D axis. But we can always unlock the element and select the reference point, for example, to another point. We can select this point. As you see there in the right window, it's 4.58 meters. If I put this uh, point to 3.9 meter, it would be surely incorrect because it would be done from an incorrect point. As you see, because the inverter height is selected from another point. But I can always unlock, I can change the point and write the height I want. In this case, I put 3.904 meters. Well, this operation of positioning has allowed the installation of a photovoltaic field, a 3D object, in this case the generic panel. So now, how can I design the plant? Select the general switch panel and then we activate the assisted design in continuous or alternate electrical energy. In this section, operator can choose language. This will be the language used in the project. So I can design in English, but I can always process the plant in Spanish or French. I can choose the presence of the photovoltaic meter or maybe the user load. Or I can also choose to add the field switch panel. Well, in this case I'm going to choose the presence of all elements. So now you can push next. Here in this wizard I can choose the cable definition in current connection. I can set if the installation is in uh, air or maybe underground. If I'm designing in air, I can choose the best cable configuration. So I define the description and then the type of insulation for the high EC60364. Then this operation I can change or confirm properties for the cable definition used in alternating current connection. I choose from all kinds of installation and I can also set a protection system. For example, I can choose from thermal magnetic circuit breaker or automatic differential. I can select from a database uh, I can choose an article or unlock the element and I can write, define the, um, the name of the element just by hand. I can also define diode presence or maybe the fuse presence. So we are just adding now a quickly labeling to see them after in the line diagram. So done this operation, we push next. As a last step, uh, I can define protection system used in alternating current switch panel. So 
we write the last labeling. Then we finish and we can now confirm. In this way I obtain an electric diagram, a three structure. As you see I have the main panel, the photovoltaic panel, the inverter and the photovoltaic switch panel. On each node I select I can see all the information. For example, let's image that the first string is distant 1500 meters from the switch panel. What software does if I'm doing an error? In this case we are exceeding the value of the voltage drop. Software is warning you. You are exceeding the maximum value. It should be around 2% for DC and 4% for the AC. So to determine the appropriate cable section, I can click to the calculator and figure out the size cable. If I choose 5 meter, Solarius propose cable dimension. I go back to the calculation and confirm. I can do the same for the other string. I can set the length for the field switch panel to the inverter or I can choose from the inverter to the photovoltaic panel or from the photovoltaic panel to the main switch panel. I can see protections if they are okay or not and I can see the device or the article. I can also see at this point the single line diagram of the panel. I can print the element and I can see the correct visualization of the diagram. Now I can confirm. I obtain the panel's generation. I can also see details. In the upper toolbar, in the left side, I can go to the shaded view with lines and textures. So in this way I can see more details. We can move the elements and put the elements to the same height. In this case 3.9 and 0.4 meter. So we are going to align all elements. Each panel can be selected. If I push this element, it's connected to whole plant. And that's because we have just one string. This field is directly connected to the inverter. The alternate panel is connected to the general panel. And the general panel is connected to the grid. So select the general panel, I can see the single line diagram with all detail. As you see, we have the diagram overlapped with the title block. But I can always define a new title block and choose the correct format. I can select the orientation or I can move the legend. I have different options and comments to organize all the elements in the best way, especially the single lion diagram. I can model the single lion diagram, set the position, properties, vertical alignment, whatever I want. All prescription on the diagram, all details also in the legend. The diagram as the layers too, so I can free some elements and see what I want. See a simple diagram, and I can export in a DXF format or DWG file. But I can also activate all layer. These are additional properties. This file, this model, this title block can be saved 
or export it in the XF or DWG file. Or you can print them. We can also add other information. Beside, I can see cable summary and details. I can export the details to XLS or maybe XLSX file, PDF, RTF file. Then I can close. So I finished my project with the BIM editor. The BIM editor helps us to properly model the architectural file and to design the photovoltaic plant. Design compatible inverter and all electrical panel. The general one, the photovoltaic panel and also the single line diagram.